when it came to figuring out what exactly cannabis was all about, Dr. Schultes decided to do his research and describe plants, cannabis plants, as either broad leaf, broad leaf, or narrow leaf. And as having either a predominance of drug or non-drug. Drug being the psychoactive component. So he and others at that time created this nomenclature where broadleaf plants that were mainly good for industrial purposes would be called hemp. Broadleaf hemp. Narrow leaf plants, like the female plant, which I have here, could also be hemp, but usually they had more drug. They had more THC. They had more of a psychoactive property. So the flowering tops of the female plant might result in uh, Dr. Schultz calling this a, a narrow leaf drug. Whereas this one here might be a broad leaf hemp. But it's all cannabis to me, right? Potato, potato. That's the structure of cannabis plants. It could be hemp, it could be um, drug, for example, marijuana. It could be broad leaf, it could be narrow leaf. Nowadays, we have a broad core categorization where we refer to broad leaf plants as indica, cannabis indica. And the narrow leaf plants are often referred to as sativa, but it's, it doesn't have to be that way. If you talk to other people in this field, they argue all the time about the genomics of these plants, where they came from and, and what they do. So we have to be careful about how we describe them. But suffice it.